cares? him into his trip and and uh, listen to him it, irregardless it was just a, a question of a, a certain psychological tendency in an individual what do you think the role of a, a rock shaman is in a time of say social ter turmoil with uh, kids taking things into their own hands more or less I don't think the shaman from what I've read is uh, really too interested in defining his role in, in society, he's just more interested in um, uh, pursuing his own fantasies. And uh, it's, I don't think it's... Uh, if he became too self-conscious of, a, of a, a function, you know, I think it might uh, tend to ruin his own inner trip. That's why a lot of rock people have been reluctant to get involved in um, issue-oriented politics, you know, make statements on the school crisis and what is it. Yeah. The, the kids were much more political. 
they come to hear. How does that translate in terms of rhythm and riffs? Uh, and you really can't because any rhythm, any rhythm, any 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 set of lyrics is a release. You know, it's just if you're releasing yourself totally into whatever you have to be playing at the moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. myself or is it's you know kind of hard just to read it dry sure. and just sing. Yeah. I wish I could I'd like to work on that a little bit more you know? mm -hmm. I think uh, one of the trends which are pretty evident in rock now is that uh, it's becoming demystified a lot of things about kids are becoming de the mystery is, is is being extracted from them and we're getting very concerned with words like honest music or down home music or mm. things like that, you know. Um, how does this affect your stuff? Uh, I was talking about, about this weekend, thinking a lot about it. I think the two basic types of music indigenous to this country are uh, the uh, black music, blues. And the kind of folk music that was brought over from Europe, and you know, with, I guess they call it country music or the kind of West Virginia high and low sound. Those, those are the two main streams of root American music. There might be others, I don't know. But um, it looks like, uh, and like 10 years ago, what they called rock and roll was kind of a blending of those two forms uh, and I guess what's happening now is that rock is kind of dying out and 
everyone's going back to the roots again. Some are going back in the country and some are going uh, back into basic blues. I guess in four or five years, uh, the new uh, generation's music will be, um, <clears throat> it'll have uh, a synthesis of those two elements and some third thing that'll be in town. Maybe it'll be, uh, it might rely uh, heavily on uh, uh, electronics, uh, tapes. I can kind of envision maybe uh, one person with a, uh, a machines, tapes, and electronic setups, uh, uh, singing or speaking and using machines. We used to think that rock was progressing, you know. It was a line from some point to another. But instead, it's a, it's a wave, really, mm -hmm. and uh, there's a return mm -hmm. right, to uh, uh, Well, that's why I like uh, uh, blues and jazz musicians and country musicians. They, they just keep on exploring their own music. Uh, sometimes they're right on time, and, and the, the public finds something in it that uh, mm. expresses the time and sometimes they're out of favor but I think for musicians and poets artists in general is just to keep uh, exploring their own field and uh, if you're popular go with it and if you go out of favor just keep doing it you know let's cut out by watching and listening to the doors do a new song called the soft parade jam together at small clubs on the Sunset Strip, and even in their early tapes, there's a distinct bluesy feeling, which sometimes gets lost in the poetics, but usually comes out in the rhythm where it counts. Anyway, a huge record company signs them, then changes its mind. Another company grabs them up, and this time they record. Their first album sells more copies than my weekly reader. They become superstars, able to leap tall groupies in a single bound, able to fill virtually any hole in the Western world. They garner as much publicity from their presence as they do from their music. This seems to put the authorities up tight, but it delights the kids. It's like Jim Morrison once said, when you make your peace with authority, you become an authority. I interviewed the Doors when they were in town a few weeks ago, and I'd like to run some of that tape for you now. I think in a way, rock concerts have always um, uh, served a function. It gives a lot of uh, people uh, with the same uh, station in life a chance to gather together and kind of I 
son you call the shaman a superstar, in which I suggested that uh, rock musicians, rock heroes, perform a religious function for kids, for young people. Um, do you sometimes see your concerts as a sort of ritual? Yeah, it's a funny thing. Um, I've uh, read a little bit about shamanism. I haven't seen too much of it firsthand, except, you know, what we see. Uh, with the music and that kind of thing. But in, uh, in tribes, the shaman could be any age. It could be an old man or a young man, but the whole tribe, uh, all ages, uh, kind of try to push him into his trip and, and uh, listen to him. And in regard, it was just a, a question of psychological tendency in an individual. What do you think the role of a, a rock shaman is in a time of, say, social ter turmoil with uh, kids taking... Can we make it back to us? I don't think the shaman is the red is uh, really too interested in defining his role in society. He's just more interested in uh, uh, pursuing his own Self-conscious of a uh, function. Uh, I think it might uh, tend to ruin his own inner trip. I think that's why a lot of rock people have been reluctant to get involved in uh, issue-oriented politics. You know, make statements on the school crisis and what have you. Well, a lot of people just don't. As you go around the world, as you travel through Europe and America, what do kids look to you for as far as projecting through your sense? It was funny, in Europe, they, the kids were much more politically oriented, you know. If we said anything politically, they'd go into a furor, you know. I mean, they'd love it, you know, especially anything against America, you know. But uh, if we just played... I dig that too, but they really dug the political side of it, you know. But uh, in America, it's just the opposite, really. A lot of people are at our concerts, at least. Uh, they're sort of. It seems like they don't really uh, come to hear us speak politics. What what do they come to hear? I mean, well, I, know they, I think they come more for the religious experience. How does that translate in terms of rhythm, riffs, and things like that? Uh, you, you really can't, because any rhythm, any riff, any 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 set of lyrics is a release. You know, it's just if you're releasing yourself totally into whatever you happen to be playing at the moment. How about in in lyrics? What's uh, Well, there's really no difference, you know. Jim's book is uh, the same as Jim's lyrics. You know, this, uh, I can read a page, and I've heard him sing pretty much the same things. You know, for him, I don't think it's uh, any difference at all. It's, this is written poetry, and what he does on stage is spoken poetry. Mm. And spoken poetry is very effective. Although some poems read better than they speak. But for the most part, spoken poetry is much more effective. And what we do sometimes is like we'll play a song and we'll play the structure and the, of the song and then we'll get into a free part and we'll improvise uh, musically and he'll improvise lyrically and that, that will probably be just straight poetry, you know? And then we'll get back into the form later. It would naturally seem much more fluid than yeah. what you've got in the book. There. A lot of our... Um, most interesting songs develop uh, over a period of time playing night after night in clubs um, it would start out into a, a fairly basic song and then uh, the music would settle into a kind of hypnotic uh, river of sound which um, would leave me free to kind of 
make up anything that came into my head at the time. Uh, that's, I think that's, I like songs, but that's the, that's the part of the uh, performance that I enjoy the most, where I have a chance just to um, pick up vibrations from the music and what's coming from the audience, and uh, just kind of follow it wherever, wherever it goes. How's that different from how you write a poem? Well, there we are. This is just right, girl. You know, a little off like this. Generations music will be uh, <clears throat> a synthesis. 
的就是激光的竖琴，这是最后一个小段。地址：上海市四平路一千七百七十七号。让米歇尔·雅尔和夫人来我国访问。Thank、you
welcome.